Um, let's move on for a few more licks. Slide on the fifth string, fifth fret, third fret, fourth string, open G. That's a lovely sound. Then slide down, third fret on the fifth string, hammer, second fret, root. Let's do that again cleanly. A nice idea would be to pedal the G string. So we have a hammer, open G, G, and a pull on the third fret, third string. And I would normally hammer. idea for some faster playing. Okay, let's look at a few more licks. Here's another cliche one, banjo-esque. We simply hammer on the third string, third fret, open B string. Okay. At this point I think we'll, we'll, we'll play a few licks. I'll try to play them for you at a medium tempo. Um, it would be a bit boring if we tried to slow every lick down note by note. But I think uh, by now you're starting to see the use of the two scales overlapping and the cliches involved. And remember the deck of chords approach that one half of a lick can be continued with a half of another one. Or you can start with that one, finish it with half of another one. In other words, each chord could be just an idea. We could finish it with... Another lick. So I'll play a few licks for you at just a medium tempo and then we'll put them together. idea. Just bend the sixth string into the G. Now, all those old ideas that we've had so far, I'm going to speed them up now. Um, I'll set a groove up on a G7 chord. It's a great way to practice them. Uh, set yourself the groove that you're in time, at your own pace, keep it slow at the start, and gradually build up the speed so that the, these things just simply roll off your fingers after a while and you're not consciously thinking about one lick or another. Um, so I'll just take the tempo up slightly. Nice one. 
Let's look at that one. That's something I do quite a lot. I'll just, it's like a double, all one movement, nothing with the, the right hand. Just one strike. Let me play a few of those type. We can also make use of our double stomps that we looked at in a previous lesson. On the next form up, the, the D form. So again, we can get used to these, dissecting the chord. Let's look at those closely now. All right, make sure that you're looking at the chord and you're playing the correct two notes that are within the chord. And the one cliche we had was the falling down, that flat bar gives us another couple of two note double stops. So let me merge some double stop ideas now with the country uh, single note ones and you'll see how they come together. Again, set a groove. Mm -hmm. 